What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dark Kel, right here. Make a quick video. I'm in the crib. Um, today is a happy day, and it's also a very sad day for Giants fans. If, um, if you guys know, the Giants officially named Daniel Jones a starting quarterback for the Giants possibly for the rest of the whole season. Now, I know Eli's been losing games and believe it or not, the last couple of years, you know, I've cursed Eli, you know, he's all the interceptions and everything, but you know, at the end of the day, Eli is my quarterback. He has been my quarterback for 15 years, you know, basically half my life almost. And um, I can't believe it's gonna affect me so hard to hear that he was gone. Like when it, the time actually came when when when, when the Giants that drafted Daniel Jones, I didn't even know who this kid was. No, I don't think no one knew. But I did my research. I saw you know, and then I realized he he looks pretty good. And then the preseason performance, he looked pretty good. But you know, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even care. You know, Eli's my quarterback. You know, that's, I mean, number 10. I mean, you know, up and downs. But at the end of the day, guys, you need to understand something about Eli. You know, Eli giving us two Super Bowls. And not just two Super Bowls. Eli beat Tom Brady when he was in his prime. Not once, but twice. Okay? Twice. He dethroned probably the best quarterback that ever thrown in the football in, in the history of football, Tom Brady. And I'm not afraid to say it. Eli beat him twice. And, okay, he's not, you know, he's probably not Peyton. He's not Brady, but he's he's my quarterback. And I'm not going to lie. There's, there's been a couple seasons that I've fired him and hired him. But it's a love-hate relationship. But, uh, you know, he has to have help. But this season, you know, he's he has some good help. And he just... I was watching a video of one of the, you know, dudes that I follow on YouTube called Pizzle, you know, Ron Effect. But those are the two guys that I follow. They're like they're straight up, and and Cop Pizzle's right, man. You know, I hate to say it, but he does look like an old fighter that just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to retire. He wants to keep fighting. He loves the sport, but he just he, it's time. And I just didn't think it was gonna come so soon. I thought that he would probably finish the season. Honestly, I don't even care. If we lose every game, I would love to see Eli finish the season and then retire and pass the torch on to, to Daniel Jones. But, you know, it's it's a cycle. This is how Eli got it. Eli, you know, took over for some, you know, the, the, his predecessor. And now it's Daniel Jones trying to do it to Eli. So I just want to say thank you to Eli Manning for the two Super Bowls and the 15 years you gave us. Obviously, there was a lot of years. The last couple of years has been bad. It's been rough. But I'll tell you what, you played 15 years for us and you played every single game, except for that one game that stupid ass McAdoo benched you. I'm, I'm telling you, that, that was the worst. But aside from that, you have showed up for every game. You've never complained. Even when your players make mistakes, you have never put them down, you never complained. You've been a role model, a great leader, a great quarterback and, and, and I'm just worried that you're gonna go. That he's gonna go play for another team, and I don't want to see Eli, my quarterback, retire from another team. You know, I want to see him retire a Giant. You know, I I think no matter what they give Daniel Jones the ball, that's okay. But I think they need to, they need to, they need to give Eli the last the last game. Uh, Eli, I want to see him retire. This this number right here, number ten, this jersey right here, number ten right here. This needs to be retired, bro. Eli Manning. I, I don't care what people say, man. Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer in my eyes. He's the only man to dethrone Brady in his prime twice. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, man. And, Brady, you know, Eli Manning, I tip my hat to you, man. I, I thank you for the years you gave us, man. And it's just a real sad day. I can't believe this is happening. And uh, But it is what it is. But So it's a sad day because that. But then, you know, it's also happy because, you know, Daniel Jones is the future. You know, Daniel Jones is the future of the Giants. At least I believe he is. I mean, the kid even looks a little bit like Manning. I mean, he even talks like Manning in some ways. Like, I really, 
hope that we get from Daniel Jones, what we got from Eli, 15 years of greatness, you know, showing up, being there, being a role model, supporting his teammates, even when they mess up, even when it's not his fault, he takes the blame. And you know what, the medium's been beating up Eli. That, 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 they just love beating him up. But you know, there's a whole bunch of quarterbacks in the league that do shitty and they don't beat them up. But what is it about Eli? He plays for New York. And let's be real, New Yorkers, we can be some real fucking assholes, man. Real assholes. You know what I'm saying? But I know right now, any real Giant fan is hurt right now. I don't, I don't give a fuck what they're saying. I don't care. They can say whatever they want. They're happy. He's a bum. Look, if you're a real Giants fan, if you're a real Giants fan, you're hurting right now, buddy. I don't want to hear shit because I'm hurting right now. I mean, it's a sad, sad day. And, yeah, I don't really do football videos, but I had to do this video because I have to. You know, my quarterback, my quarterback, his base, his arrow is gone, and it's time for the new horse. And... You know, it's just a sad day, but uh, me and this football right here watched some pretty good amount of games with Eli, and it's going to be up to the new guy now. So, <sighs> Giants fans out there, man, you know, let's be grateful, man. Let's remember the good times with Eli. You know, let, let's just, don't, let's not trash him, man. The man gave us 15 solid years, and he was willing to give more. He just, he can't get it done right now, so... Uh, that's what it is, man. You know, the big blue. Hopefully, Danny Jones comes in here and, you know, hopefully he does better. You know, I know I know that having a quarterback that can move out the pocket, which Daniel Jones does, is going to be key. Because there's, there's some plays that I feel like, why didn't he just leave the pocket? Why didn't he just... And Daniel Jones is going to give us that. So, you know, but let's see. But I just... Five games of the preseason is not enough to convince me that you're my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Daniel Jones, you're going to have to convince me. If you want me to wear your number eight, if that's going to be your number, you're going to have to convince me, buddy. Because me, until you don't convince me, I'm not convinced you. I mean, you did okay in the preseason, but, dude, I'm telling you, you, you haven't convinced me. You got to convince me. Man. You got some big shoes to fill. So, it is what it is, man. It's a sad day for Giants fans, real Giants fans. I don't care what you say. You're hurt right now. And uh, farewell to Eli Manning, and hello to Daniel Jones, and the big blue train's going to keep moving forward. So uh, that's what it is, man. Eli, thank you for 15 great years. Daniel Jones, boy, you got to prove yourself. You got some big shoes to fill, boy. Your boy Dark Hill out. Peace.